welcome to this painting tutorial. In this video we're going to look at how to paint Iron Warriors Chaos Space Marines. This is a very easy to do and very effective color scheme. This is one of my favorite color schemes for Chaos Space Marines. And I've changed the way I paint this color scheme over the time and uh, I would like to share it with you. If you like this video don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and stay after the video to know how you can support my channel. I will start by priming the model in black, for that I used Rust-Oleum American Accents Black Primer. You can use any primer that you like, I would suggest using black. First I'm going to use Lead Belcher and I'm going to give the whole model a layer of this color. If it doesn't cover too well, go ahead and give it a second coat after the one dried. And I'm using a little bit of drying retarder to help me use this color a little longer and apply it smoothly onto the surface. Uh, there's nothing very difficult or complicated about this step, just slap it on the whole model, uh, don't, don't apply it too thick, and uh, give it a second coat if it needs to. In this video I'll be layering all of these colors, and uh, if you want you can dry brush them. You can watch my Necron tutorial or my Grey Nest tutorial if you would like how to dry brush these colors. but. I'll explain why in a second. Next I'm going to use Nulin Oil. With this color I'm going to shade in the whole model with wash. Again, as any other miniature, just uh, slap the Nulin Oil all over the miniature. Try not to let it pull a lot. Try that it doesn't make any pools around the model and if it goes and makes pools around the feet, you are applying too much but just uh, make sure to get all the recesses of the model. Next I'm going to clean up this step with some lead belcher and I'm going to layer it over the areas that are supposed to be silver. I am layering it instead of dry brushing it because I think that dry brushing these metallic colors kind of takes away from the shine, the natural shine of, the, of a good layer of this paint. So I'm trying to make a cleaner job and make them look a little bit uh, more interesting and shiny. If you want, you can still dry brush it and it'll be a faster process, but I think it looks better if you layer it. Next, I'm going to use Runefang Steel, and with this color I'm going to only hit all of the edges of the metallic parts of the miniature trying to use the edge of the brush and using the drying retarder to, for my advantage to make the paint stay wet for longer and uh, just uh, try to hit all of the edges of the model. This is very easy, you could dry brush it if you want, but I think this looks way better. Next, once it's done, I'm going to use Averland Sunset and with this I'm going to color in the pattern on... I'm going to use the left shoulder pad and the right uh, boot. You will have to apply this color very thin and on... Two, I used three layers and it looks very messy at first but try to be patient and try to not, not to rush it always always thin down this paint because it looks weird and it forms crumbs and all that horrible stuff but uh, three layers I think will do, it, will do the job and then I'm going to use Abaddon Black to start drawing some stripes. There is nothing magical about this step this is how I do it I'm just dragging along the brush I'm picking a point on one side of of the area that I want this pattern on and I'm just dragging the brush in a straight line and hope for hoping for it to be straight and clean. If it if it isn't you can go back and clean up with the detail brush. But other than that, it's just trying to brace your hands and be as steady as you can. And this is how the model should look. I would recommend practicing on maybe a 
an empty base or a piece of cardboard or whatever you have in hand to trying to replicate this pattern first and then once you have it you can go to the miniature. Next I was supposed to paint black also the shoulder pad and the bolter case but I forgot that step and it's going to be off order but then I'm going to use Balthazar gold to paint all of the gold areas around the model. This is a very simple step. I'm using a size 1 brush. It's a watercolor br brush. You can use your standard brush from Citadel or any other brush that is the appropriate size. Next I'm using Sandry Dust to paint the horns. And I forgot to record the black but it was basically just painting the right shoulder pad and the bolter case. There is nothing very fancy about that but that was supposed to be before the gold. Now after two or three layers of sandry dust I'm going to start shading these areas with Agrax Earthshade. I'm going to use a small brush to get into all of the gold areas. Try not to get it into the silver but try to let the wash outline a little bit of the gold and give um, like a dark outline to all of the gold areas and also hit the horns of the model. Okay, next I'm going to use uh, Gehenna's Gold. This is once the, the, the wash is dry. I'm going to start cleaning up all of the gold areas, just leaving the old color behind on the recesses and places that don't get light. This is just the cleaning up and leaving the, the shadows on the recesses and that's it. Alright, next I'm going to use Auric Armor Gold and with this color I'm going to give the final highlight to the gold. Try to concentrate this color onto the sharpest edges and places where light hits the most. I try to leave a little bit of the Gehenna's Gold showing on other places. I'm picking up the points of the Chaos Star and the forehead of the skull and places that are directly hit by light. Next, I'm going to, to use Storm Vermin Fur, and with this color I'm going to edge highlight the bolter case, and if you have any edges on black parts, you can hit those. I didn't hit any of the shoulder pad because it ha doesn't have any edges. Next, my fist in red, I'm going to use this to paint the eyes. I'm just covering the whole lens of the eye with a fine detail brush. After that I'm going to use Wild Rider Red and I'm going to try to paint the half front part of each lens of the eyes. Next I'm going to use Stroll's Layer Orange to paint the very front, a point in the very front tip of each of the lenses. This is a little bit hard. If you want, you can just paint the bread with my fist in red and that's it. And then I'm going to put a little dot of white scar on the back part of the lens, suggesting a reflection of light. Next, to finish it off, I'm going to dry brush the horns with Ushapti Bone. Now make sure that the brush, the dry brush is very very dry so that it only catches on the raised areas and you don't uh, paint on under the uh, texture of the horns. Next with Screaming Skull, I'm going to only hit the bones on the very top parts of the horns and that's it. This is another very dry dry brush, just picking up the texture on the bones and that's pretty much it. This is the finished model. I really had fun making this tutorial and it re it's really reminiscent of the times 
when I started to paint Iron Warriors because it's one of the easiest warbands to paint if you're doing it with dry brushes and I think my technique has changed a lot my opinion on this uh, color scheme I think it looks way better if you use layers instead of dry brushes and I hope you enjoyed this video as well Thank you very much for watching this video, I really hope you found it entertaining and helpful. And if you like it, don't forget to like the video, comment on it, and subscribe to the channel to see more videos. Become my Patreon if you're willing and able. That really helps me out to stay home and really work on my videos. Let me know what you would like to see next, and I hope to see you on the next video. Thank you very much for watching. You stayed. Great. Thank you very much for watching my video and if you would like to further support my channel, you can become my Patreon on Patreon. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month and you are helping me create more and better content. If you can't, that's fine because you're helping my channel a lot just for watching and sharing, but you can read all of the details if you follow the link in the description below. I hope you can spare a dollar to make this hobby of mine a job for which I can get paid. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.